in this video we are going to study fifth question of the 2017 HNDA financial management past paper that question evaluates cost of capital subject if you think this video is useful give a like share with your friends and subscribe this channel with click the bell button for getting the notification of the forthcoming videos if you have any doubts on this question please ask through the comment section okay let's go to the video the following information is extracted from the financial statements of jpk holding plc as at 31st december 2016 a issued share capital of jpk is rupees 500 million and it compresses with 1 million ordinary shares jpk is a listed company in colombo stock exchange and the last traded price of ordinary shares was rupees 750 the dividend paid for the year just ended was rupees 80 per share and growth rate of annual dividend payment is 5 percentage b the retained earnings of jpk was rupees 150 million c jpk has issued irredeemable preference shares for a value of rupees 100 million this consists of 500 thousand preference shares and annual dividend per share is rupees 28 the last rated price of a preference share was rupees 280 d irredeemable non-quartered long-term borrowings of jpk were rupees 110 million with annual interest rate of 15 percentage E. JPK is liable for income tax at the rate of 28% per annum on its profits. You are required to compute the following. First, cost of ordinary share capital. Second, cost of preference share capital. Third, cost of debt. Finally, you are required to compute weighted average cost of capital based on market value. As per the question, first we have to calculate the cost of ordinary chair capital. For calculating ordinary chair capital, cost of ordinary chair capital. For calculating ordinary chair capital, this information is given. In, from this information, we can calculate the ordinary chair capital, cost of ordinary chair capital. So we can apply in the equation for calculating cost of ordinary share capital this equation for dividend growth model because growth rate is given here d1 d0 into 1 plus g D0 is given in the question. Rupees 80 per chair. D note is given rupees 80 per chair into one plus G. One plus G also given five percentage. So one plus five percentage. So answer for the D1 80 rupees into one plus five percentage. So answer for the D1 is 84 rupees. So we have 
calculated d1 p naught p naught equal market value of the ordinary chair as per the question market value of the ordinary chair is 750 rupees so p naught is 750 and g growth rate growth rate is given in the question 5 percentage so now key now we can calculate the cost of ordinary chia capital k e in the equation as per the information k e equal d1 d1 already calculated 84 rupees divided by p naught market value of the ordinary chia already find 750 rupees plus g growth rate 5 percentage so answer for the cost of ordinary chia capital k e equal 84 divided by 750 plus 5 percentage 16 point 2 percentage so answer for the ke cost of ordinary chi is 16.2 percentage now we are moving to calculate second part of the question uh, to compute the cost of referential capital cost of referential capital equal kp we can use this equation to calculate the cost of referential capital the equation is d1 divided by divided by p naught here d1 equal the dividend for the referential d1 equal dividend per the preferential is uh, the C part annual dividend per chair is rupees 28 rupees so D1 equal 28 rupees P naught market value of the preferential as for the question last traded price of a preference chair was rupees 280 rupees so the market value of the preference chair is 280 so p naught equal 280 rupees now we can apply in the equation to calculate the cost of preference chair capital so d1 28 rupees divided by p naught market value of the preference chair 280 rupees so twenty eight rupees d1 divided by p naught market value of the preference chair 280 rupees so answer for the cost of preference chair capital is 28 divided by 280 rupees Ten percentage. So KP equal ten percentage. So now we are moving to calculate the third part of the question uh, to compute the cost of debt KD. This debt is irredeemable without market value. So we can use this equation I one minus T. Here I is interest rate. I equal interest for the debenture as per the question as per the question interest rate annual interest rate of 50 15 percentage 
and here not stated power value of the debenture. If not stated power value of the debenture, we should take 100 rupees as power value for the debenture. So we should take 100 rupees power value of the debenture. Power value of the debenture into interest percentage to calculate the I. Power value of the debenture we should take as rupees 100 because not stated in the question 100 rupees into interest percentage is given into interest percentage given in the question as 15 percentage so 100 into 15 percentage so answer for the interest i equal 100 into 15 percentage 15 rupees as interest and t t equal tax rate tax rate as per the question is given 28 percentage as tax rate so now we can compute the cost of debt kd interest we have calculated 15 rupees into 1 minus t 1 minus t tax percentage is 28 percentage so answer for the kd 15 into 1 minus 28 percentage weighted average cost of capital at market value these are the sources of capital ordinary shares reference shares debentures First, we have to calculate the sources of capital at market value. First, we should calculate ordinary shares. As per the question, number of ordinary shares is 1 million and market value of the ordinary chair 750 rupees. So, one 1 million into 750 rupees seven hundred and fifty million ordinary chair at market value now we can calculate preference chairs at market value as per the question Preference number of preference shares is 500,000. Market value of the preference share 280 rupees. So 500,000 into 280 rupees. 500,000 into 280 rupees. 140 million preference shares at market value. Third debentures. In the question. In the question, 110 million number of irredeemable non quoted long term borrowings and not given the market value. So, so we should take power value equal to market value so we can directly apply as 110 million
now we have found total value of the source of capital is 1000 million next we have to calculate weight for the source of capital ordinary share at market value divided by total value of the source of capital at market value preference at market value divided total value of the sources of capital at market value debentures at market value divided by sources of capital at market value cost of capital we have already calculated so we can directly apply here for the ordinary chairs 16.2 percentage for the preference chairs 10.8 percentage for the cost of debt KD for the preference years 10 percentage for the for the cost of debt okay now we have to calculate weighted average cost of capital from these informations First, we have to mul multiply weight into cost of capital. Weight into cost of capital. Weight into cost of capital. So, total value of the back 14.74 percentage is weighted average cost of capital as per the question. 80 percentage dividend 5 percentage growth so we can apply in the equation we have found 84 rupees as d1 p naught market value of the ordinary chair 750 as per the question g growth rate is given in the question as 5 percentage we can apply in the equation to calculate the cost of ordinary chair capital 16.2 percentage cost of reference share capital we can calculate in the equation d1 divided by p naught d1 equal dividend is given in the question as rupees 28 rupees p naught equal market value of the preference shares is given in the question as 280 rupees so we can divide 28 divided by 280 rupees answer for the cost of reference here is 10 percentage then we have calculated weighted average cost of capital first we have calculated market value of the each sources of capital then we have calculated weight and apply the cost of capital that is already calculated finally we have multiplied weight into cost of capital the total value of the vac is 14.74 percentage so this is answer for the 2017 hnda financial management pass paper